Hey everybody, Fishman here. Welcome to another video. One of the goals I've always had on this channel is to try and encourage as many people as possible to get involved in making their own DIY projects. And not get bogged down initially in the aesthetics of the project, but just to get something functional. Something that they can use in their fish room, or for whatever other purpose they want it for. And one of the biggest hurdles uh, when dealing with acrylic is to get that nice clean weld, and in the case of a fish room, a nice waterproof weld. So to that end, I'm going to show you a trick I know for taking a bad weld and making it waterproof. So what I'm doing here is I'm going to make a small box and I'm cutting it on the bandsaw instead of the table saw for one of the edges. And the reason why I'm doing that is, as you saw it go through the blade, it tends to bunch up and because it doesn't clear as well. And I had to go back and forth a little bit. So what that does is it creates little ridges and it is very difficult to weld that. An awful lot of people who are going to start on this aren't going to have a table saw. They may not even have a band saw. You may have to even do it by hand. But that should not uh, discourage you from doing this because, like I said, this is going to show you a way of taking those bad welds and making them functional at least. So what I did off camera is I took my table saw and I banged it around and knocked as much of the materials I've been working with out lately and then took a vacuum to it and then ran a bit of acrylic through it and cleaned that out as well because what I'm trying to do here is get some nice clean chips of acrylic and it's important when you're doing this to make sure you also remove both films that are on the side uh, of the acrylic that protects it from getting scratches because that will not dissolve in methylene chloride. So this is just going to be pure acrylic and this is going to get dissolved in the methylene chloride. Now I'm not going to use this particular jar here, but while I was going through the process of doing all this, I thought I would just collect a little extra. Because once I dissolve this, uh, <laughs> methylene chloride is really good at evaporating and it will not stay in these jars for very long. It will evaporate off and you'll end up with a small little puck of acrylic in the bottom of the jar and again you have to start all over again. So this I made off screen, sort of off camera, and all I did is added it methylene chloride to a small amount of those chips until it was almost all completely dissolved. So it's pretty much a saturated solution of acrylic in methylene chloride. So there you can see this is a bad cut. You can see there's actually a bit of a white spot there. And this goes against what I like to do. Um, this is actually really annoying for me. I am going to deliberately do a bad well on top of all this. There you go. That is just, that is just so ugly. <laughs> anyway, so what I'm going to do here is uh, proceed to make the rest of this. Now, those of you who have worked with uh, weldons, uh, they are another method of welding acrylic. And you can get some of them that are really thick and pasty. And this is basically the same sort of thing. Uh, the difference is it doesn't cost anywhere near as much because you're using... Uh, materials that you'd be discarding anyway, and methylene chloride is substantially cheaper than any of the weldons. And also, I found when I worked with weldon, I did a bunch of uh, videos about it earlier. The smell that comes off that stuff is just horrible. I mean, obviously, methylene chloride is toxic as well, but I find it much easier to dissipate it uh, in the fish room with a fan and uh, not have to worry about breathing it in at all. So. Once you have this material here like this, uh, it is unfortunately necessary to use it relatively quickly. Uh, but again, like I said, you can store a bunch of this uh, dried and make this up you know, just before you need it. Like I made this up uh, about a day or two before I was going to use it because uh, it took about two days to film this. Uh, I am going to, uh, once this is put together, I am going to put water in it, show you how it leaks. And then of course, once there's water in that joint, you have to get that completely dried out so uh, there was like a day and a half uh, from start to finish for this and as you can see the solution is quite fine so if you've got a project you're working on and you're going to be working on it for like three or four days uh, probably even longer than that uh, this is not a problem it's when you want to store that for a few weeks or a month uh, then you're going to have run into issues and redissolving that is not really possible so there you go. That is truly ugly. And it will not hold water. It will actually not pour out, but uh, it is, like I said, a bad joint. And 
I mean, this entire box is really quite ugly, but anyway, this is just to demonstrate uh, my point here. So we're going to pour some water in this. I'm going to show you how uh, watertight it's not. And then what I'm going to do here is uh, pour that out, let it dry for a day. It's, don't worry, it's coming back on camera here in a second. There we go. <coughs> and I'm going to show you how you can uh, fix this. Now, it's never going to be pretty. That's not the purpose of this. Uh, it would be nice if you can get a nice clean joint out of that after it looks like this. Uh, but it's very difficult to get anything to wick into there, uh, and especially not this material because it's a lot more viscous, and that's the whole point. What's going to happen as you apply this is it is going to have about a one millimeter spread on either side of that sharp corner. And it's going to smooth it out into more of a gentle curve, kind of like the look of the silicone that on the inside of an aquarium. Obviously, it has a different effect. What's going to happen here is it's going to dissolve the acrylic on uh, the adjacent sides of the joint. And then as the methylene chloride evaporates, it is going to form a bead, a weld. And that is going to prevent the water or whatever from escaping. And that's the whole point of this. It's not going to be pretty. And I don't do this very often. You can't use the, uh, the standard syringes I like to use because it's way too fine and it'll just plug up. So I'm using a much uh, less uh, delicate device here. Uh, it's just a syringe for uh, giving medication to kids in their mouths. Uh, it is difficult to control. As you see, I put a little bit too much in here. But the nice thing about this particular material is it takes a lot longer to set up. So I was able to go in there and remove the excess, and then this has to sit for about 15 minutes for that to all evaporate, and then that will now be waterproof. So I decided I'm going to do one more here, uh, just to show you hopefully a better weld, or a better application of it, I should say. And then uh, what I'm going to do is let that set for about 20 minutes, half hour, and then we're going to uh, put some water in this and see if it holds water. Unfortunately, I got my hand in the way of this, but right as soon as I move my hand away, there you go. You can see that, that sort of viscous material and how I can slosh it back and forth a little bit and get it spread out the way I want it to. That is one of the nice things about working with this. Uh, like I said, it's a lot more forgiving to work with. And uh, it does give you, in the end, like I said, nice tight and solid joints. So here we go. We're going to put some water in this. And uh, I'm going to let this set for a few hours. Then I'm going to come back and have a look at it, see if anything has seeped out. And, uh, well... Spoilers, it holds water perfectly fine. So this should help if you guys want to get involved in any of your own DIYs. Uh, this is a simple trick, and it is one I've used many times. And it does give you, like I said, a nice watertight joint uh, for those welds that didn't quite work out. Nothing's going to save this box. It is ugly. Uh, I'm probably just going to throw it out after this anyway. But there you go. Leave comments, let me know what you think of this, and let me know if you really want to get in trying stuff out and if this helps at all. There you go, nice and dry. So thanks for watching, I'll see you in the next video, and bye for now.